Miss Kuman used to always say, God will use anyone if you pay the price. I did not know what the price was. I, I know now. It's prayer. Prayer is the price. Time with God is the price. And nobody wants to pay it because we, we don't have time. People don't have time or they say they don't. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. You just don't want to do it. We all have time. We have time to watch news. We have time to watch silly programs on TV. We have time to talk to stupid people on the phone who don't belong to us, who shouldn't even be bothered. You shouldn't be bothered with them. You've got time to speak to family that, that you shouldn't bother with. You've got time for everything. Well, can't you give God one hour of that? Of course you can. We all can. Well, I'm tired. Why don't you get up and shower and talk to God? Wake yourself up. Just stir yourself up. So it says, and I say, none stirs himself up. Well, you can easily stir yourself up if you want to. Look, look, let me tell you something. The older you get, the more you'll see I'm, I'm giving you the truth. Because you young people, you don't care right now. You say, ah, everything's going fine. It won't be fine for long. Do it. Do it before it's too late. I want to talk about power with God. Power with God. Most important. The scripture says in James 4 verse 2 Ye have not because ye ask not. Power with God is dependent on prayer. And I want to share the word with you today about that amazing life of prayer, why the devil fights you when it comes to prayer. And what must you do to win in this life? Isaiah 59 verse 16 and he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, therefore his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness, it sustained him. What a powerful verse. God looking for someone to pray and found none. Isaiah 64, verse 7. Isaiah 64, verse 7. And there is none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up himself, stirs up himself. That's the problem with a lot of people. They just won't do it. Stirs up himself to take hold of thee. For well, thou hast hid thy face from us. You've hid your face from us. You've consumed us because of our iniquities. There's a, a, there's a lot in this verse. It says, first of all, nobody wants to pray. Nobody will stir themselves up to take hold of God. And God has hid himself, hid his face. Well, that's his nature. God hides himself for a good reason. In Isaiah 45, 15, it says, Thou art a God that hidest thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. God hides. Why does he hide? Because when you seek him, the flesh begins to die. God hides in order that the flesh be crucified. Because the longer you seek him, the less of the flesh remains. And this is one thing Satan will fight you on for the rest of your life. He'll challenge you 
for the rest of your life. He'll convince you that you are wasting your time praying. But prayer has amazing power if you stay with it. You gotta stay with it, never give up. So you pray for your children. You pray for a son who's on drugs. You pray for a daughter who's doing something she should not do. It may take years before you see the miracle. But if you give up, you will lose them. Never give up. You pray every day. Don't miss one day because the day you miss is the day you lose. You have to pray daily. Stay in contact with God daily. Why daily? Well, because we, we rust. We develop rust in the spirit. So if we don't pray daily, we become uh, rusty. We become, we have difficulty finding God the third and fourth day because we missed a day or two. Continual communion means fast entrance. No warm-up sessions with God. So when you talk to Him daily, you'll get in there quickly. Daily contact means no waiting necessary. If you don't talk to God daily, you'll have to wait longer before God shows up. So daily contact is critical when it comes to power in your life. Trust me, I've experienced all that. So prayer, prayer is the most heavenly and the most spiritual function of your Christian life. I want to say it again. Prayer is the most heavenly and the most spiritual function of the Christian life. That's the key for the Christian life. You cannot take this lightly because prayerlessness brings the demonic. When you don't pray, you open the door to devils. Prayer keeps the door closed so devils cannot get in. But when you don't pray, you, you, you open the door. So prayer is so important because it, it literally can shut Satan out of your life. But yet you, you've got to pray. Because if you don't pray, he comes in. The door opens up by itself, you know? And he comes in and he'll destroy your family. He'll destroy your life. Because prayerlessness is destructive. I've been, I've been a Christian since 1972 and I've had to learn this one real hard because, you know, I didn't really realize how powerful the devil is when you're prayerless. When you're prayerful, he is weak. When you're prayerless, he, be, he will become strong. He'll fight you and he'll win if you don't pray. So it's like this, when I don't pray, I empower the devil. When I pray, I empower God and the angelic. Think that the angels become stronger when I pray. It's in the Psalms, Psalm 103. Bless the Lord all ye his angels that excel, excel means strengthen, at the sound of his word. Well, who's praying the word? You are. Remember what it says in Revelation 12? They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Well, here's the scene. Angels are fighting the dragon. Michael and God's angels are fighting the devil and his angels. And we the saints are declaring the power of the blood. And as we declare... The angels win.